Dog.com. I think That's we should right. talk about what Gary just said on his way out. I don't remember what he said. <laughs> That's such a lie. So, what? folks, we had a lot of rain leaks <laughs> <See>? recently. <laughs> totally ignored me. Okay, oh, what he said yeah, step was in. Julie is an asset to the show. I really like having her here. She's an asset to the show. Because you're boring. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So... Uh, when we sell VIP seats to the fight, you're going to be on the other guy's th- side? <laughs> oh Is that what you're going to be? No, I'll be in your corner. I'm hoping you have the... We're going <laughs> to... No, I'm going to have the they towel. It won't even last one round. I'll okay? towel you off. <laughs> you're going to towel me off. Call me Butterbean. I'll put um, Vaseline on your nose. <laughs> what for? In case you take one. What if he cuts me? <laughs> I know. Ooh. I it could was... happen. Yeah, it could I know. happen. I know. Listen, but it I'll might give you character. So fast, he won't know what hit him. This is hilarious. You know, I have to tell you, this would be like, <laughs> the, well, right? I shouldn't say it on air, but I'm I'm having fun with this. <laughs> you know what? Maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> whatever, do whatever you got to do. Okay, just just know one thing. Uh, all right, that if if when I was young in therapy, okay, are you going to bring out the therapy card now? No, no. When I was on the couch, the doctor said to me, "You know what, Adam? We've diagnosed you. You're missing the fear gene." <laughs> Oh. I have that missing filter and the fear gene, so I'm not afraid. That's the problem. And then my mouth gets me into worse trouble. <laughs> it just happens. So you let's know, talk about um, lower levels. Let's, okay? let's, let's go down let's lower below. ourselves let's go, to the lower right? level. I don't know if we can go any lower, Adam, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, we are. Am I your sparring partner today? <laughs> no, I'm always your sparring partner. Cut me, Mick. <laughs> right? Hey, we have good. We have another guest we'd like to introduce. <laughs> we do, don't we? We do. So, uh, joining us on the Hired Done Radio Network on 97 Won the Ticket is probably the benchmark waterproofing company in Michigan, which benchmark, again, we say, is which all others are measured against. Jeff Schloening from Everdry. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, so, let Everdry Waterproofing, obviously. Tell everyone how long you've been in business. 29 years serving Metro Detroit. That's a long time, Julie. It is a long time. How many? Per- I'm pers- barely alive. Twenty nine years. Well, twenty nine years ago, you were thirty. <laughs> oh, oh my up. God! <laughs> this guy's really taking his life into his hands. Ninety six percent of all tame today. Ninety six percent of all contractors go out of business in, in the, the first, first five. Yeah. Right. I, I, that's awesome. Right. Twenty nine years. And you're slammed with the rain. Yes, this we year. are. We are swamped. So we used to fight. Get it, everyone? They're yeah. swamped. Literally. So we used to fight about waterproofing system the inside system the outside system i mean it makes sense to get the water from the outside before it gets in your basement right common sense however there are areas where it comes from below under the ground what happens then it's called hydrostatic pressure well everdry is a complete solution and so let's break that down for the listener so that everyone understands what that means all right so you have to understand that you deal with more than one kind of water you have the rainwater and you have the groundwater. And if you just fix a wall, you're mainly taking care of the rainwater and you can still have a floor leak. If you just fix the floor, then obviously you can have a wall leak. So whatever Dry believes in is a complete solution. Fix the wall, the floor, every way water can possibly get in. And uh, then you have the peace of mind of finishing it off. So it's preventative. It, it fixes the problem. It, you know, we like to say it fixes past, present, and future problems. This I makes agree. sense, right? Well, it totally makes sense. So block wall foundations and poured wall foundations doesn't matter does it doesn't matter brick clay stone anything anything um so let's talk about block walls so block foundation walls are hollow and they fill up with water and they can fill all of you don't even know yeah they can so if you know and they're also porous so moisture migrates through there the problem with block walls are are uh because the blocks hold water and the water's not coming into the basement, people think, I don't have a problem. You know, it, it, the water is kind of like the end result. So, you know, if you have stains, dark spots, white powder, cracks, mold, mildew, you have water. You just don't know it yet. Right. White powder in your basement, folks, is efflorescence. Okay. It's a byproduct. Ooh, big word. Moisture, Can you right? spell that? I could. I got an A-plus on that Facebook spelling test <laughs> just recently. I got them all right. In fact, I won the eighth grade spelling bee. Oh, do you I was a, the spelling bee champ in eighth grade, and you know I t-shirt. remember the word. Yeah, but he was in fifth grade though. <laughs> no, it was eighth grade. No, he was in eleventh. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, yeah. 
Wait, wait a minute. I beat the girl. I know. I beat a girl. What was the word? Machinery. <laughs> How about them? I actually remember it. Like, this is one of those thoughts. It was, where, hey, it was licensed. He just, <laughs> he right. just re relived his childhood days on the couch. <laughs> Listen, I repress a lot of memories, too. But sometimes I, my therapist says, if you talk it through, Adam, you don't have to get that anger. It gets out of you. Do you want me to be your therapist? Um, Lisa Brickler just texted me. Yeah, she's our biggest fan. Well, Is no, she? we got yeah. a lot of it. Kathy Buchanan said hi this morning. Oh, I love Kathy. Right? Hi, Kathy. We like her too. Yeah. So, we had a lot of rain recently, Jeff. We tell homeowners like we had this week: go in your basement, and look for signs of water. If you do, call Ever Dry because you guys come out and do a free inspection. Absolutely. Let's talk about what you actually do when you inspect the basement. Uh, we'll come to the home and first. We like to sit down and get a little background information. You know, tell us. You know, a little, little information about the house, what you've noticed. And then we do a complete inspection, both inside and out. And then we uh, basically design a solution based on the customer's needs and wants. And, uh, you know, and then if they want an estimate, we'll give them that. And sometimes it could be something small. If it's do-it-yourself tips and they don't need, you know, a, a big job, system, right. and, you know, we'll tell them what to do. So let's talk about some of the barriers that basement waterproofing, you know, has. Homeowner, let's just use a bungalow in Royal Oak. Typical house, a lot of bungalows all over town. You got the driveway going up one side of the house, and the concrete goes right against the house. You got the, the front porch that covers up half the front of the house where you have the basement wall. You got a deck off the back, which is right up against your house. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, you got grass and your others, your neighbors, and it's a little bit of a swell. So of the four walls, you got one good clean side, but now you got all the other stuff that you got to deal with. That's items that a professional waterproofing company is going to solve for the homeowner. Certainly. First of all, a driveway acts as an umbrella to the rain. That's right. right. So, you know, I really don't see a need to cut a driveway out and make the homeowner incur more cost yeah. on top of the waterproofing. Exactly. So what we do is we'll seal that driveway to the home, fill that gap, that joint, and, uh, you know, that'll take care of that. If a deck is in the way and there's not a problem along that wall that needs addressed, why have the homeowner incur another expense of removing and replacing a deck? Uh, so, you know, and then we'll take precautions on the inside for those situations. However, if there is a problem under a deck and it needs to be dealt with and we're honest with the client, we tell them it needs to be dealt with. I don't, I don't want to see a customer spend a lot, you know, money to get their basement waterproofed and then still have some sort of a problem because they didn't want to remove a deck. Yeah. Well, that yeah. wouldn't be getting your job done, right? So right. You don't need to remove a whole yeah. deck. It would just be, you know, two, three boards, boards right. go down and make sense. And, and here's the other thing, which is unique. Uh, folks, for all you listening to actual process of waterproofing on from the outside, you're digging down the wall, side of the wall of the house. These guys dig by hand. Yes, there's no do. bobcat. There's no little excavator. They're going by hand. Certainly. And that, what that does is protects the homeowner's yard landscape. Again, I, I just don't want to see a homeowner incur more costs than they need to. When you dig by hand, there's, you know, there's much less destruction. You know, it's just the areas that we're digging and and it, we put you, it, so put let's it go together. through the actual process from the outside. We'll walk. We'll go right through a whole process. You dig the foundation down uh, by hand to we call it an inspection trench, just enough to see that top part of the wall, probably you know two feet ish. Okay. All right, and then we clean the top of the wall off, and what we're looking for are cracks in the foundation. Those cracks generally start from the outside and work their way in, so you really can't tell from looking at the inside how many cracks you have. Uh, you know, generally what you see on the inside, there could be as many as two to three times more on the outside cracking. Sure. So when we do find a crack, we excavate that crack all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Right, right to the footing. It's not digging the whole house all the way down. Again, that just where one, the crack is. Just where the crack is, because that's where the water's coming in. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we dig every crack down. We seal that obviously with a mastic and visqueen, and then we backfill it with gravel. We take the clay away, which takes the pressure away. So the mastic. Let me, let me get this straight. So the mastic seals the crack. The plastic goes over the mastic to prevent water from migrating into the, protect that. And then the, the gravel lets the place where the water hits and then filters through and out. to Correct. The However, the plastic's also to protect the tar, you know, the mastic, because sure. it's biodegradable. It can wear off. So if you put the plastic up against it, it protects it. Yeah, it buys you a long time. A real long time. Okay, so that's how you, and then you backfill it when you're done. No, before we backfill, we put a drain in, in that, in that initial trench that was dug down a foot and a half, two feet. And that's what handles the surface water, the rain well, water. Yeah, because you can't prevent 
water. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, right. So, you know, we have that drain at the top because we want to capture the water as soon as mm -hmm. it hits in the ground. And generally that drain will run to a dry well that we put in the yard. And uh, so that handles the surface water. We've sealed all the cracks, all the ways the water can get in. We've put in a drain to carry, uh, you know, future water away. And that also takes the pressure off the wall. So that eliminates future cracking. And so we've taken care of the wall and the surface water. But what we still have to take care of is the floor and the hydrostatic pressure. That's why we do a multi-step system. So, so and, th and that's what's the best part about your waterproofing system. A lot of companies will just do one portion of that and that's it and tell the homeowner they're all set. And that's not the proper way. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it right. We're Water talking, moves. If, yeah. you, if, you if you stop, if you fix one wall, it will move to another wall. Well, listen, to quote Glenn Hagee, Water always wins. It does. That's why we have a Grand Canyon, folks. I love that statement. I really do. Got to give him a high five. Virtual high five, Glenn. But once so, you're done outside, do you have to go inside and do yes. any pre Yeah. Because we have to handle the groundwater. Right. Again, if you fix the wall, you're going to just have a problem with the floor. Exactly. We're talking with Jeff Schloning from EverDry. The number is 866 EverDry. If you want him to come out and get a free inspection, I'm sure because of the rain, you should go down in your basement, folks. Just look for signs of water. Um, they're also part of Hire It Done. He's our only basement waterproofing contractor. He's the only one that meets our criteria. And uh, it's a really good thing, to I be honest with you. I appreciate that. That's the truth. You know we've talked how many times over this? Uh, many. You've been yeah. to our job site. You know what we do. Right. And then we have to inspect all that. So, okay, so now you've got the outside all buttoned up. We're all happy. Now we got to go inside, okay? Some homeowners have underground water, okay? There's a, a spring, you, and their sump pump is running all the time that's me oh you're just running all the time all the time oh we got to get you the uh the, the battery backup sump I, well, I literally need I, my sub pump runs non-stop okay well, is your basement power... finished yeah so what are you going to do with a power outage or a or a pump malfunction can you come over <laughs> yeah what are you doing later on <laughs> she's I'll got a 50 kw generator don't let her fool you <laughs> i do not <laughs> anyways um Let's not go over to her house till the power goes out. Let it fly oh, a little so bit. Oh, that's so mean. I wouldn't do that. We come, we come from a position of help. All right? We want to help people. Even if she's, she's siding with the other guy? I'm not. I'm totally team Adam. I'm going to get take, a t-shirt. you got to take care of the asset to the show. Omar, knockout. By the way, it's going to be knockout. Next week's shirt. By the way, I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt today, folks. Next week's shirt is, I ordered Rocky. it off Amazon. No. Oh, I should order a Rocky one. You should order a Rocky one. Thug life. Did you get me one? I didn't. <sighs> What's you wrong have one. with you? Don't you have one? Yeah, but I thought we were going to match. It's so rude. It's my t-shirt. and you can't. I, I came up with it. Okay, well, you wear yours next week, and I will. Fine, I will. Fine. Are you going <laughs> to play your rap record when you wear that shirt? Right? I'm going to. I should. <gasps> you should rap before the fight. <laughs> Listen, in case anyone who's just tuning in for the first time, I have a former career as a rap star. My name was The Vanilla Fella, and the name of my first album was called The Great White Hope. The Bacon. The I bacon was before album. Vanilla White Ice, just so you know. The Vanilla Fella. Vanilla Fella, yeah. Say that 10 times fast. Vanilla Fella, Vanilla Fella, <laughs> Vanilla Fella, Vanilla Fella. I can do it 100 times fast. Okay, I got that action going. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. We've got Jeff Sloaning from EverDry here. Now we're going to talk about the triple <laughs> sump, the battery backup, and the easy breathe. This is awesome stuff, folks. So keep it locked in. Plus, I might throw out a rap or two I, when I you come back, right? Yeah. And a shout-out to Grapes because he's listening. I'm Adam Helfman. This is Hired Done.